Hmm. Who can explain what is osmosis? Would understood, is it? Hmm. सर जो मास ट्रांसफर होता है ऑस्मोसिस की वजह से उसके वजह से मेम्ब्रेन पे प्रेशर आता है वो ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर होता है ऑस्मोसिस बताओ पहले व्हाट इज ऑस्मोसिस सर द फ्लो ऑफ सॉल्वेंट दैट इज सम टाइम फॉर एग्जांपल वाटर फ्रॉम लोअर कंसंट्रेशन टू हायर कंसंट्रेशन राइट ठीक है ठीक है Let's see. I don't know whether what is this video explained it properly or not. Let us see. So, Mila has. Here's the cell on your screen. We have already seen that the various organelles inside it are compactly packed inside this delicate membrane called the cell membrane or the plasma membrane. We've even seen that the cell membrane makes use of diffusion process to transport gas and water molecules in and out of the cell. However, diffusion is not the only process employed. There are a few more on the list. Let's have a look at these methods in this video. Tell me one thing: How do we transport water from a lower height to a higher height? We need a pump because this does not happen on its own. a force or some energy is required to pull the water upwards similarly in a cell some molecules have to be carried inside or moved outside the cell this requires energy to be spent the energy used is in the form of atp molecules this is called as active transport that is active transport requires expenditure of energy The transportation is carried out by protein molecules present on the cell membrane. On the other hand, diffusion does not require energy. Hence, it's a type of passive transport. So movement of molecules without spending energy as in case of diffusion is passive transport. Similarly, movement of molecules across the membrane with the expense of energy is active transport. Now let's get to know one more interesting concept named osmosis. Have we ever come across this term osmosis? Well, quite often. But what exactly do we mean by this? Osmosis is defined as the movement of water from higher water concentration to lower water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. So let's say we have this container which is partitioned by this semi-permeable membrane. Now we add sugar solutions at both these sides. However, the concentration of each is different. Here we add concentrated sugar solution while here dilute sugar solution. That means the concentration of water in this solution is obviously more compared to this. So after some time, we see water molecules moving from this side of the partition to this side. 
And how long will this movement take place? It will occur till the concentration of water is balanced, that is, equalized on both the sides. This is nothing but osmosis. Let's learn some more interesting concepts about osmosis and cell transport in the next video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's what we have seen yesterday, right? Essentially, water moves from higher to lower concentration. Concentration of water is higher, and we saw yesterday we, we selected water and a solution, right? So solution means it may have some salt, it may have sugar, it may have anything. So when when you add salt or solution, uh, sugar or sucrose, whatever, to a solution the concentration of water is less in that solution than in pure water and hence it moves from pure water to the solution okay is that understood that is osmosis all right now let us proceed further And what is the reverse osmosis? What is the reverse osmosis? Can you hear me? Simple question का answer नहीं देना आता क्या? Can you hear me का answer क्या? Sir, आ रहा है voice. Yes, sir. You can hear me, then you can you be able to answer the question also, right? Yes, sir. Sir, मतलब uh, reverse osmosis में opposite होता है मतलब water जो है uh, water के lower concentration से higher water concentration में चला जाता है. इसके लिए हमें external pressure देना पड़ता है. Right. So we have seen this yesterday. वो जो उसने video में बताया. By nature, by nature, water moves from higher to lower concentration. That means pure water is NaCl solution. Me jayega, right? Because in NaCl, the concentration of water is less. Or in our terms, in thermo terms, chemical potential of pure solvent is more than that of solvent in solution. Because, because actually, effect is concentration is the effect, not the cause. Chemical potential is the reason why it happens. Okay. So when we apply a pressure, sir, here, yeah, sir, हमने twelfth में पढ़ा था कि वो lower to higher जाता है. तब वो वो concentration कौन सा होता है? अभी water का देखा ना higher to lower. तो lower to higher में वो concentration किसका होगा? तो गलत पढ़ा होगा. फिर यह याद नहीं होगा तुम्हारे को. नहीं सर नहीं तो हमने वो NaCl के कंसंट्रेशन के टर्म्स में पढ़ा था सॉल्यूट के कंसंट्रेशन के टर्म्स में हां तो दैट्स व्हाट आई एम सेइंग नो दैट यू डोंट रिमेंबर इट करेक्टली कांसेप्ट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज कांसेप्ट इज गोइंग टू रिमेन द सेम डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ यू इट इज स्टॉक्ड राइट सो या व्हेन यू या व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट NaCl कंसंट्रेशन NaCl कंसंट्रेशन इज लोअर ऑन द वाटर साइड एंड हायर ऑन द NS सॉल्यूशन साइड राइट That is why water is moving from lower concentration of NaCl to higher concentration of NaCl. Bara bara na? Yes, sir. But we are not talking about water because NaCl because NaCl is not moving. What is moving is water. So we are talking about water concentration, not NaCl. NaCl concentration doesn't really matter. What matters is water concentration or solvent concentration or potential. Okay. So this is a natural tendency, which is we seen in the first diagram, A, which is osmosis. Now, if you start applying pressure here on the solution side, and we are seeing what is the effect of pressure on chemical potential, we'll see that also later. So what happens when we apply pressure here? The chemical potential of this side keeps on increasing, and at time or at a certain pressure, the chemical potential of both the 
sides or your solvent and solution become equal and that is when the uh, diffusion or transport from solvent to solution stops and if it increases further uh, then the chemical potential of solution becomes more than that of water and the transport happens in the reverse direction and that is reverse osmosis right that's what we have seen yesterday right this is the effect of pressure on chemical potential uh, we'll use this later also at p prime the chemical potential of solvent is in solution becomes equal to chemical potential of pure solvent at pressure p so pressure is not the same pressure is different here and pressure is different here and that is what is making the difference so no diffusion will take place in this case and if we increase the pressure further if the pressure greater than p prime uh, greater than the pressure at which equilibrium is obtained the direction of diffusion is reversed and solvent diffuses from sol solution to solvent okay. so when water diffuses from pure solvent to solution it is osmosis and when it diffuses from solution to solvent it is reverse osmosis right so excess pressure is essentially p prime minus p which is to be applied over the solution at constant temperature to arrest the process of osmosis that means we have to stop the water going from pure solvent to solution and that is called osmotic pressure p prime minus p is this understood osmotic pressure so again same thing yahan par sucrose water bataya maine it could be salt and water doesn't matter or by difference chemical potential of two sides ho gaya reverse osmosis ho gaya okay that's what i was saying right at pressure p prime mu i is equal to mu i s okay and diffusion will stop and at pressure greater than p prime the direction is reversed and that is reverse osmosis osmotic pressure so now let us see the derivation of osmotic pressure concentration wagare ke bare mein ultimately let's what we want to find out ki concentration kya hoga so let's see x is the mole, mole fraction of solute in solution and x b is mole fraction of solvent in solution and mu b prime is the chemical potential of solvent at pressure p prime in solution that means that equilibrium so we are seeing what is mu mu is equal to rt ln f plus c right we can write mu b prime for the solvent in solution at p prime pressure is equal to rt ln f b bar in solution plus c and now if we write it for pure solvent right mu b star that means we are calling mu b star b star is at pure in pure solvent again at pressure p prime mu b mu b star prime that will be equal to rt ln f b plus c because now we are talking about pure solvent so this f b not at b bar now if you take 1 minus 2 mu b prime minus mu b star prime is equal to rt ln f b bar minus rt ln f b cc cancels out we can rearrange this and we get mu b prime is equal to mu b star prime plus rt ln f b bar upon f b any questions on equation 3 f b is nothing but fugacity of pure solvent at pressure p prime and f b bar is fugacity of solvent in solution at pressure p prime okay so now let us look at ideal solution so the render rule says that f b bar equal to nothing but x b into f b okay. so if we put this equation 4 and equation 3 what will get is mu b prime is equal to mu b star prime plus r t l n f b bar upon f b is nothing but x b and x b okay. 
ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चन ऑन क्वेश्चन फाइव ओके स्वेट इक्लेब्रियम वॉट एपन्स केमिकल पोटेंशियल ऑफ सॉलवेंट एट टी प्राइम इन सोल्यूशन केमिकल पोटेंशियल ऑफ प्योर सॉलवेंट एट प्रेशर पी एट प्रेशर पी नॉट टी प्राइम राइट सॉलवेंट इज एट प्रेशर पी एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट यू बी स्टार प्राइम निकाल दिया हमने प्राइम था एट टी प्राइम वॉट यू गेट इज यू बी प्राइम इज इक्वल टू the star right so this is what it is chemical potential of solid pressure p prime is nothing but mu b prime and chemical potential of pure solid pressure p is mu b star that is nothing but equal to equation 5 mu b star prime plus rtl and xp okay equation 6 so we can write this as mu b star prime minus mu b star bring this here and that is equal to square root at left hand side mila bring this here you bring this here so we get minus rt ln xp okay so what we have is mu b mu b star prime which is chemical potential of pure solvent at p prime And mu b star is chemical potential of pure solvent at pressure p. ठीक है equation seven any questions? So now what is happening is book में ऐसा दिया है I am not convinced about this that's why I have showed you this. He says d g is equal to v d p minus s d t. That constant temperature becomes d d g equal to v d p and you proceed that equal to d mu. I don't know d g equal to d mu. Is it the same d mu equal to d g? Yeah. Devendra, Dikshita, Siddhi. Do you think d g equal to d mu? जी बार होता है ना राइट यू इज नथिंग बट पार्शियल मोलर गिफ्ट एनर्जी राइट तो डी जी इक्वल डी में डाल दिया बुक में शॉर्टकट में कर लिया बट आई डो नॉट एग्री विद दिस थिंग दैट्स आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिकमेंड यू दैट यू डू दिस थिंग लेट्स सी अनदर वे ऑफ डूइंग दिस थिंग डेरिवेशन है यू कैन डू मेनी वेज सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद इफेक्ट ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन केमिकल पोटेंशियल व्हिच यू हैव डन बिफोर व्हिच इज टब ऑफ म्यू आई बाय टब ऑफ पी एट कांस्टेंट टेंपरेचर एंड composition is equal to v v v i bar so if we integrate equation 8 we'll get what we we'll get is d mu i integral from mu b star to mu b star prime and on the right hand side is minus v i bar constant raiga integral dp from p to p prime so at p prime at p it is mu b star at p prime it is mu b star prime what we'll get is mu b Star prime minus mu b star on the left hand side is equal to v i bar into bracket p prime minus p. And we you know for pure solvent nothing v i bar is nothing but v b. We are talking b is a solvent, so it's nothing but molar volume. So we compare equations eight, or eight and nine you have. It will be seven and nine. If we compare equations seven and nine, what we'll get is mu b star prime minus mu b star is equal to y from nine g b p bar p prime minus p, and from equation seven, it's nothing equal to nothing but minus R T L and X B, right? So we get this equation. any questions on this equation essentially we are combining equations 7 and 9 so we can write this as vb in the bracket p prime minus p is equal to minus rtl and xp or we can write this is the 
osmotic pressure is equal to mod minus RTL and XP upon VB. Or we can write in terms of XA, solid concentration, minus RTL and X, 1 minus XA upon VB. Any questions on this equation? So if you have, see solid, normally solid concentration is very low, right? If you take any pure, impure water, impurities are not very high, maybe 2%, 4%, 5%, jada nahi hoga, or 1%, sometimes even less than that, PPM level goes like that. So when the value of XA is low, what happens to LN1 minus XA? So you have a calculator, right? Phone pe sabke was calculator. Hai. Find out what is the value of ln 1 minus x a when x a equal to say 0 0.1 or 0 0.01. Sir, it's negative. Yeah. अरे नेगेटिव कैसे होगा रे अ नेगेटिव आएगा बट वैल्यू कितना है सर व्हेन वी टेक इट एज 0.01 देन इट इज माइनस 0.01 राइट सो 1 माइनस ln ऑफ 1 माइनस x इज इक्वल टू माइनस x बराबर हां सर राइट अप्रोक्सीमेटली वी आर सेइंग इट्स नॉट इट विल नॉट बी एग्जैक्टली आई शुड पुट इट अप्रोक्सीमेटली हियर Mathematically, it is proven that it is equal to this one. Math will be studied. What we get is P osmotic is nothing but RT into X A minus the pressure will be LN1 minus X A ka X A divided by VB. So if you know the concentration of impurities in the uh, solvent, you can find out what is the osmotic pressure required for reversing the direction of mass transfer. Right? RT temperature is known, R is known, molar volume is known, XA if it is known, then you can find out the osmotic pressure. Right? So, kal maine kuch logo bola tha ki jab aapke ghar mein RO hai, to cha ke check karo kaise work karta hai. Kiya ke logo ne? किसी ने किया क्या चेक नहीं किया आपके घर में एक्सपेरिमेंट है यू कैन नॉट यू डोंट डू योर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग कैसे आएगा ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चंस ऑन ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर एंड रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस तो इफ यू वांट ऑपरेटर रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस प्लान देन प्रेशर अप्लाइड ऑन द सॉल्यूशन साइड हैज टू बी ग्रेटर देन पी प्राइम राइट प्रेशर कैसे आता है आप जाके चेक करो ऑस्मोसिस जो आरओ प्लांट में कैसे होता है ठीक है एग्जाम में जनरली ये पूछते हैं कि डिराइव दिस इक्वेशन फॉर ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर कि ऑस्मोटिक इज इक्वल टू आरटी एक्स ए अपॉन बीबी एनी क्वेश्चंस ऑन ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर There are no questions. Let's move forward. Okay, so can you see this? This is the syllabus of C82. And uh, we have just finished unit 4. So now we're going to start unit five, which is chemical reaction equilibria. And there's another unit called unit uh, equilibrium constant, unit six. So we need to do two units. And we have roughly, let's say, let me see, maximum three weeks. So I want to finish all the three, two units in 
least three weeks, which may not be enough. Is it okay if we conduct some extra lectures? I can do it fast. It's like question here. Problems come on it. Then we solve less problems. Theory coverage doesn't take much time. We will get in next three weeks nine lectures and two units. What do you think? Shivani, Hager. Hi, sir. Yeah, what is Shivani? GS, join GS. Sir, Lelo extra lecture. I had initially included extra lecture in regular Monday ke time par. Then, thermo is easy to cover, karna, especially thermo one ka thoda portion cover. Karna rata hai. So, okay, take I'll keep some extra lectures on Monday starting from this next week. Monday. So we'll get three extra lectures and that will be enough. Three plus nine, 12 lectures will be done. So units. It's not difficult, nahi hai, but still we need some time because problem solve karne ke liye time lagta hai. Theory is easy. Okay. And since we have completed unit four today, we'll have our unit four test on next Wednesday. Let me see the So, so this is your timetable. Is that timetable? Can you see that? Yes, sir. So Monday we have an extra lecture. Taking it. So Wednesday we have a free slot at 2 p.m. We can have our test. Wednesday. Okay. Because Wednesday already our lecture. Hai. I don't want to keep extra lecture on Wednesday. We'll keep it on Monday and we'll have a test on Wednesday. Chalega. Sir, test lecture case me rakh do na. Kaun bol raha hai? Kaun bola? Sir, Pravin. Ravin, I have extra lecture around the portion of the portion and you have to test the time of the What logic is that? I don't have a problem. I can finish two units into uh, six lectures. I problems not have problems. If you want that way, I can do it. It's not easy, difficult at all for me. Because we are spending a lot of time on problems and it's very slow. You don't have to do it yet. There are only four or five students who actually do the problems, or maybe 10 students, 15 students maximum. Lucky look attendance ke liye aate hain. Ko. If you want that, I am okay with that also. Lecture like, time test tracking, extra lecture nahi lenge, I have no problem. We have nine lectures remaining, out of which uh, three lectures will go and test. So it will be six lectures. I can finish the unit, two units in six lectures. Is that right? Sir, Monday go extra lecture chalega, sir. Koi dikkat nahi. Ha. Aur? Test lekin class mein chahiye.
How many people want test during lectures? Just raise your hands. How many will want to have test? I know that other subjects are doing it like that. Thermo is not easy. Covering it in detail may I can do it fast. If you want it that way, I can do it. Do a few minutes, two units, arm, and you can do it. ये क्लास 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 के टाइम पे लग कितने लोगों को टेस्ट चाहिए नोबडी सपोर्टिंग यू प्रवीण प्रवीण सुनाई दे रहा है कैन यू हियर मी प्रवीण Yes, sir. I have asked for voting, right? I don't have a problem. I can do it. I can adjust it. I don't have a problem. It's going to go, sir. I don't have a problem to cover it. I don't have a problem to cover it. We have problems. We go to 2-3 lectures. Okay, sir. Can you hear me, Pravin? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Want fast? I will do it fast. Okay, let's move on to the unit five now. What do you see? Yeah, is that after? Unit five, is that again? Yes, sir. Chemical reaction, is that again? Is that again? Yes, sir. Okay. So, let us तो केमिकल रिएक्शन इक्लेब्रिया दर सम एग्जांपल्स आर गिवन हियर ये रिएक्शन आपको आपको पता है तो थर्मो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज थर्मो डू व्हाई आर वी स्टडीइंग केमिकल रिएक्शन इक्लेब्रिया इन थर्मो कल मैंने बताया था राइट व्हाई आर वी स्टडीइंग बीएलई एलएलई एसवी इन थर्मो क्या रीजन था व्हाई डू वी स्टडी ऑल दिस इन थर्मो वेयरएज वी हैव सेपरेट मास ट्रांसफर सब्जेक्ट Hmm? Why do we study all these things in thermo? Pata hai na mene kala apko? Yes yeah, sir. What is the reason? Sir, matlab kisi bhi process se hum kitna maximum output le sakte hai, wo hume thermodynamics pata hai. So thermo predicts equilibrium conversion of reaction and also the effect of temperature, pressure, composition on equilibrium conversion. It will predict all that. And it can also be feasibility of reaction. Feasibility कैसे होता है? How do we study feasibility of reaction? ये आप लोगों ने chemistry में याद है किसी को? Feasibility of reaction. Sir, वो change in Gibbs energy देखते थे ना वो negative चीज़ है. Yes, that you should be. It should be negative, right? We'll see all those things. Why it is like that? Whereas you have another subject called CRE. Next semester will be your CRE, Chemical Reaction Engineering or Kinetics. And that deals with rate or speed of reaction. How fast or slow it is. 
और द रेट एट विच कन्वर्जन इज अटेंड इन प्रैक्टिस एक्चुअली कितना होता है थर्मो डज नॉट प्रोडिक्ट कितना फास्ट होगा कितना स्लो होगा बट मैक्सिमम कितना होगा बताता है तो प्रोग्रेस और एक्सटेंट ऑफ रिएक्शन इज अफेक्टेड बाय चेंजेस इन रिएक्शन कंडीशन टेम्परेचर प्रेशर चेंज किया तो कन्वर्जन uh, वगैरह चेंज होता है राइट सो इफ लुक एट एनी रिएक्शन लाइक वॉट इज शोन हियर सी ओ प्लस हाइड्रोजन गिज मिथेनॉल इसलिए कन्वर्जन रेट आर अफेक्टेड बाय प्रेशर टेम्परेचर एंड कंपोजन ऑफ बोथ सी ओ एंड हाइड्रोजन इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस कंडीशन इक्लियरम कन्वर्जन इफेक्ट ऑन कैनेटिक्स इक्लियम कन्वर्जन में अलग इफेक्ट होता है कैनेटिक्स का अलग इफेक्ट होता है विल सी दैट इफ यू लुक एट एसो टू ऑक्सीडेशन पढ़ा आप लोगों ने सब तरीके से राइट सीपीटी में सीपीटी में पढ़ा है ना सब तरीके से राइट सो ऑपरेटिंग टेम्परेचर क्या रहता है प्रेशर क्या रहता है अरे सीपीटी पढ़ रहे भी नहीं पढ़ रहे हो टेम्परेचर This there can be conflicts like this, right? So data shows that conversion is 90 percent at 800 Kelvin for SO2 to SO3, and if increase further, it is 50 percent at 950 Kelvin. Right? So we have to have balance of thermo and kinetics. So we have to consider both while deciding what conditions we should keep in any reaction. so purpose of thermo <coughs> is to identify the role of thermo in design and operational chemical reaction systems we'll see that equilibrium conversion sets a limit kitna maximum ho sakta hai and towards the goal by which we can measure improvement in the process suppose thermo says that you can go up to 90% conversion but actually we are getting only 70% conversion that means there is scope for improvement and we can try different methods different ways of coming as close as possible to 90% 90% nahi hoga practically but we should try to reach as much as as close as possible to at 90% so thermo predicts the best that can be expected from the reaction right and there are different ways of doing it so choice of an appropriate catalyst can you give a better reaction rate without catalyst reaction rate slow hoga shayad With catalyst reaction fast ho jata hai, and that's why you'll see that are many processes which are catalytic. If you didn't study, you will know, right? SO2 to SO3. What catalyst is used? Carbonic pentoxide. Most of the reactions industrially practiced will have some catalyst. Because Sharma does not talk about catalyst. What will happen? Kinetics. कैनेटिक्स से प्रोडिक्ट किए कैटलिस्ट यूज किया और मेजर किया तो क्या होगा यूज किया तो क्या होगा बट द कैटलिस्ट विल नॉट ऑल्टर द क्लियर कन्वर्शन व्हाट इज प्रोडिक्टेड बाय थर्मो दैट मैक्सिमम यू कैन अचीव इज 90 परसेंट बोला तो कैटलिस्ट से यू कैन एक्ट व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन रिएक्शन फास्ट कर सकते हैं बट नाइन्टी से ज्यादा कभी नहीं हो सकता right so purpose is to determine equilibrium conversion and predict effects of various variables like temperature and pressure on conversion so temperature bada hai to kya hoga pressure bada hai to kya hoga we can predict all those things in thermo theek hai is this understood why we are studying this in thermo reaction kinetics 
इफ यू सी ऑल द प्रोसेस जितना भी आप पास ट्रांसफर ऑफ थर्मो करो जितना भी आप यूनिट ऑपरेशन यूनिट प्रोसेस करो एवरीथिंग कैन बी एक्सटेंड इन थर्मो वी हैव सीन डीएलई वी हैव सीन एलएलई वी हैव सीन एसवी वी हैव सीन ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर एवरीथिंग कैन बी एक्सटेंड देयर इज सम थ्योरी बेस्ड ऑन व्हिच यू कैन एक्सप्लेन ऑल दिस यूनिट ऑपरेशन इन प्रोसेस ओके सो लेट अस लुक एट रिएक्शन स्टॉइक्योमेट्री ये हमने पढ़ाया था आपको राइट पीसी में याद है किसी को पीसी हाउन यू विल रिमेम्बर पीसी जो पढ़ा था हमने रेजर हैंड्स बस क्या ओनली फाइव पीपल ठीक है अच्छी बात है याद है तो सो इफ यू लुक एट एनी रिएक्शन सपोज ऐसे रिएक्शन इज लाइक दिस टू ए प्लस बी गिवस एल प्लस टू एम राइट सो वॉट इज टू वॉट इज इट कॉल्ड टू थ्री वन टू राइट वॉट इज इज कॉल्ड स्टाइसोमेट्रिक स्टाइसोमेट्रिक राइट Right, so that will write as new L in this book. It is write like this. So L new L means stoichiometric coefficient of L that is equal to one. New M means stoichiometric coefficient of M. New B means stoichiometric coefficient of B. And new M means stoichiometric coefficient of A. So why is it plus here and minus here? Co reactant then. Reactant stage. Reactant always minus होता है because it is reacting, it is disappearing, it is reducing as the reaction proceeds. But as this is getting regenerated, that is why it is positive, right? Our equivalent statement क्या दे आप लोगों को right? So two moles of A gives three moles of B, or two moles of A react with three moles of B to give one mole of L and two moles of M. क्या दे आपको? Yes sir. Right? so we can write this equation now ye jo hai ye reaction we can write as l plus 2m minus a plus 2m minus 2a minus 2b and with the reactant ho udhar ke kya hai to it will be like this right ek side mein laya to okay so change in number of moles in any reaction is proportional to stoichiometric number or stoichiometric coefficient number of coefficient yahan par number bol rahe hain हम पहले कोफिशेंट बोलते थे ठीक है फॉर वन मोल ऑफ ए डिसपेरिंग इन रिएक्शन सपोज यू से वी वॉन्ट बेसिस इज वन मोल ऑफ ए राइट तो डेल्टा एन ए क्या हो जाएगा चेंज इन नंबर ऑफ मोल ऑफ ए इज माइनस वन रिएक्शन हो रहा है तो बी का कितना हो जाएगा माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव बिकॉज वन एस टू टू मोल्स रिएक्ट विथ थ्री मोल राइट टू मोल रिएक्ट विथ थ्री मोल तो वन मोल लिया तो वन पॉइंट फाइव हो जाएगा ये बी का एंड माइनस बिकॉज इट इज डिसअपियरिंग एंड सिमिलर टू मोल इज गिविंग वन मोल ऑफ एल सो वन मोल इज गिव पॉइंट फाइव मोल्स ऑफ एल एंड टू मोल इज गिविंग टू मोल्स ऑफ एम सो वन मोल इज गिव वन मोल ऑफ एम ठीक है डेल्टा एन ए डेल्टा एन बी डेल्टा एन एल एंड डेल्टा एन एम एन एम राइट एंड वी नो दैट This change in number of moles is proportional to stoichiometric coefficient. We have already said. We can write delta N A upon new A, and we will see what it is. If I take delta N A, delta N A is minus one, and new A, new A is how much? Minus two, right? So minus one upon minus two. Okay, so it is one by two. Delta N B is minus one point five. Divided by new B. New B is minus three. So minus one point five upon minus three is again one point two. One one by two. Delta delta N L is point five divided by new L. New L is one. Right. So again it is one by two. And delta 
nm nm is nothing but 1 and nu m is 2 so they are all equal so whatever may be the number of moles or reaction jitna bhi hoga we can write this equation 1 for the reaction so if we take the change in number of moles during a reaction divided by stoichiometric coefficient it is same for all the uh, components reactants as well as products okay any questions on equation 1 okay so for differential amounts that means small changes you can write instead of delta you can write dna upon nu equal to dnb upon nu equal to dnl upon nu l is equal to dnm n over 1 nu m okay question 1 and 2 any questions Okay, uh, skip kiya tha maine. basically we can write the reaction as summation of nu i a i, a i is any uh, reactant of product is equal to 0. So, we have written here. What we did, right? So, stoichiometric coefficient into component, where nu i is stoichiometric number, it's positive for products and negative for reactants, and it is 0 for in because inertia hota hai kabhi kabhi. So, nu i is 0 for inerts. Okay. Any questions on what we have seen so far? Because this is the basis for everything which you do later. Okay. So, let's look at extent of reaction, which is called, denoted by epsilon, or it is also called reaction coordinate. It is defined as a epsilon is equal to dna upon a. So, we have defined kya yaha par. Same thing, we are now defining it as reaction coordinate or extent of reaction. Or we can also write dna is equal to nu i into d epsilon. So, what does epsilon do? It measures progress of reaction and also defined as degree to which a reaction has progressed or advanced. Advantages, change in reaction coordinate or extent of reaction d epsilon is same for each component. We saw that, right? It is same for each component. Reactant or product or same. Epsilon is same for every component of the reaction. But change in number of moles are different for different species, right? DNA is different. DNB is different. DNL is different. But epsilon is same. And this is what we have already written. For initial conditions, that means before the reaction starts, epsilon is always zero because there is no change in number of moles, right? DNA is zero. So epsilon is also zero at initial conditions. Okay. Any questions on what we have seen? This basis, basic rather. And then we'll use these concepts for solving problems. Examples 1.1, 9.1, and 9.2. I think I'll leave it to you to solve it. Because time ni hai hamare paas. Log extra class ni chahiye, test chahiye regular lecture mein. So I'll just skip many problems. Take okay, a solved example hai book ke 9.1, 9.2. Or what is easy hai. you can solve it on your own. Okay. Any questions? On the basics we have covered so far today. Example 9.1 ek bar final exam mein achuka hai. Bhoat is simple hai. Update no? I'm not going to solution every problem because we don't have time for all that. Sir, we can kinetics of a reaction kab nikal sakte? Matlab, under steady state nikal sakte ya unsteady state may be ho sakta hai. See, as I said before, 
industry operates under steady state only. It doesn't operate under unsteady state. Unsteady state is dynamic state, which happens only when the plant is started and when the plant is shut down. The rest of the time, it is operating continuously. It is under steady state condition. Continuous process plant ki baat kar raha And it is continuous process plant. It's a refinery, bola, petrochemical plant, bola, uh, sulfuric acid, bola, nitric acid. Bola. All these are continuous processes. Continuously feed out there, continuously product out there. Conversion, which we have seen, sulfuric acid, 90% to bola. If I maintain 90%, it is going to be 90% throughout. The plant runs for 11 months in a year. It's shut down for only one month in a year for maintenance purposes. So it always op it is always operated at steady state or near steady state. So disturbance will uh, but the disturbance to control karne ke liye control systems use hota hai. The objective is to always maintain a steady state where we get a defined conversion and yield. Dynamic comes in only when you start the reaction. That means when the plant is started after shutdown or when we shut down the plant for maintenance. That is the only time where dynamic state comes in. Okay. Any other questions? ठीक है सो होमवर्क असाइनमेंट है आपके लिए दो एग्जांपल 9.1 सॉल्व एग्जांपल है एंड एग्जांपल 9.2 व्हिच इज अगेन सॉल्व एग्जांपल वेरी सिंपल है कर सकते हो आप सर या सर वो नेगेटिव कैटालिटिक रिएक्शन में so, catalyst is always used to increase the rate of reaction, not to slow down. Sir, nuclear power may use the reaction rate slow down. See, that is to control the reaction, that is not to slow down. Right? It is always to control the reaction, not to slow down. Okay, sir. It should not become like an explosive situation, runaway reaction, new energy, explosion, new energy, right? Yes, sir. Right? It is always to control. Catalyst is, purpose of catalyst is always to increase the rate of reaction. It is always because without catalyst, it may take say one hour for the reaction, with catalyst, it may take a few seconds. Because time is money, right? Yeah, catalyst I got used as just a nuclear power. It is maybe it's not really catalyst. I think it is something else. I don't remember all that. But it is mainly to control the reaction so that we can manage the reaction. Explosion new on a chi run away reaction new on a chi uskele hota hai. Okay. Yes, sir.